Hey you guys, so I don't know when I'm gonna load this video up. I will more than likely load this up while I'm on vacation mid-September. I want to go ahead and come on camera real quick to show you guys all of my products I purchased. I don't know about you, but I feel so good when I get Amazon packages. <laughs> First of all, I'm stalking my packages online um, and I, I'm, I'm looking to see if my husband coming in him too. I try to hide them from him because I don't need him questioning me. I don't need you asking any questions of what are all these packages for? Mind your business. But anyway, enough of that. Let me show you what I got. I got a lot of stuff, at least a dozen worth of items. Um, and these items, these products are what I'm going to be using throughout the year. So of course I'm going to be reordering. Look, my Amazon cart is already ready to go for the next set of foolery. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Not in any particular order, I'm just picking up what I have here. Great seed oil. I ordered a four ounce, can y'all see that? Y'all can't see that, hold on, hold on. This is not even, okay, I ordered a four ounce of grape seed oil. I like grape seed oil. I don't know why I, did, I stopped using it. Now, mind you, a lot of these products I'm going back to. I used to use them before. Hold on, y'all, can y'all see me now? There we go. I used to use them and I just stopped using it, you know, but I love grape seed oil, tons of benefits. Look it up, girl, for yourself. Great benefits. Next up, we have jojoba oil. Jojoba oil, sorry. I mean, what can I say? It's a very moisturizing oil. It's the only oil I would believe that is very similar to your natural hair sebum. Um, I love it on my body, and I, but I really do like it as a hot oil treatment, okay? Let's just go ahead and do the oils. Jamaican black castor oil is bait for me. I don't miss, so the oils that I showed y'all, the jojoba and grapeseed, that's gonna be a part of my oil mixture, which is another thing I purchased, another applicator jar. Um, I like to make my own oil mixture of different different oils that I use. I The oil mixture can get a little bit ridiculous, five, six, seven oils. I don't add this to it. Um, Jamaican black castor oil, for the simple fact it's a very thick oil and it turns it like a, it turns a little bit darker because of the ash that's in it. Also, I just like to use this along my edges in the back. You can see my edges are very healthy and I have had a child and I did experience postpartum depression, depression that too, postpartum shedding, um, which is all hormonal if you don't know that. But it, you know, a little bit of this does help. Uh, but I put this all around my edges and I like to do hot oil treatments with Jamaican like castor oil. Stick it along with oils for my mental health and for <laughs> for my hair, lavender oil, okay? Lavender oil, all right? Um, I forgot about this, vitamin E oil. A little bit of vitamin E oil. Now, I use this for my skin and for my hair. Vitamin E oil by Jason, all right? And I'm just picking up what I have in front of me. I have the Green Beauty's Channel Hydrolyzed Wheat Protein. I love this stuff, y'all. Um, and I will like, I, I will be using this, <coughs> excuse me, I would say every two months for me. My hair is fairly healthy. It could be healthier. Um, so I think every two months will be okay. And only like a tablespoon in my DIY deep conditioners. I do. Girl, on, I, I, yeah, I was singing to the leave-in. Oyon handmade hairdo. Now, I thought I ordered the larger one. This is small as hell, and I'm heavy-handed. This right here, to me, is one of the best leave-in conditioners that is out there. Um, yes, I do have a video on this. I, I have a video on nearly everything that I'm showing you, by the way, yes. Onion handmade that will be my leave-in now a long line with the leave-in conditioners I will be making my own leave-in styling butter or even like leave-in cream excuse me leave-in conditioner using shea butter um I like to make a butter cream but I use it as a leave-in and I use it as a style and I have time I literally have three or four videos on how I make buttercream but actually I think I have only two but I will go ahead and link that video down below all right y'all so another DIY thing that I will be doing and I did purchase this some Indian healing clay now this is basically betonite clay I have a video on washing my hair with this I'm not a big fan and I, from my understand, people who, uh, a lot of people prefer, what is it, Rezeal, Rezeal, Re, y'all know I can pronounce shit, Re, Rezeal clay 
over the Betonite clay. I did do a review of a clay wash that I purchased from Chocolate Kinky Curls. I'm so sorry, sis Juanita, I'm messing up the name. Um, and that clay wash had Betonite clay and it also had shea butter. So I would be putting these together for a clay moisturizing wash. That would be another video. I'm gonna wait till it gets a little cooler here, like 70 degrees, y'all, yeah, it's a mess. Um, but I mostly bought this for my face, but we will, we'll go ahead and put this in. And, um, and I bought a little bit of cluster. <laughs> only a little bit of the Queen Helen super cholesterol hair conditioning cream this is the one thing I really did not need y'all it I love cholesterols I really do it's literally like three in one um I have so much deep conditioner respect there, but I, I prefer the Queen Helene over all of them so <laughs> I was like I was like, let me give me a little bit more you know you never know y'all you never know I mean right now <laughs> And the last thing I got, which is Bay for me, is the ORS Original Root Stimulator Olive Oil Replenishing Conditioner. So they have those packs. I was like, oh girl, I don't No, we're gonna go ahead and get two of these, two of these. So this stuff will last me, depends on how often I use everything. Um, I'm hoping this will last me, and, and thinking about what I have back there already, I'm good for at least half a year. Y'all, I'm good for at least half a year. So yes, um, I don't know, well I guess I can share a little bit of what I plan on doing. Very, very simple regimen. But again, listening to my hair and my hair needs. Um, it won't be a really strict regimen, which I think a lot of people get caught up in. You gotta, you know, switch it up if you see something isn't going the way it should be. So, washing um, every two weeks, excuse me, um, washing with a shampoo bar. I'm gonna be using the 22nd Century Woman's Shampoo Bar, and yes, I will be cutting it up. Thank you guys for that recommendation. Simple. My regimen has always been very simple. If you can see right now, my hair is in these twists. I do have a playlist on how I set these twists, and this is what I use as my protective style and my low maintenance style throughout the weeks. I can get away with this for three weeks. The longest I've done this was four or five weeks. Um, however, I think that that's where I messed up the time before is where is that excuse me I didn't cleanse my scalp enough at least for me personally because I'm working out and stuff y'all now you see this this ain't for show yes this the woman is in the gym at least four to five days out of the week and so I need to ensure that that scalp is cleansed with that being said I will be shampooing my hair if not every two weeks at least every week before I was only shampooing monthly I can't do that. I'm going a month without going in there, yeah, no. So every two weeks, I will be shampooing my hair um, or cleansing my hair. And then I will be um, conditioning my hair, deep conditioning my hair, using a cholesterol. These cholesterols have a little bit of protein, all right? And then going in with the hydrolyzed sweet protein every two months or so. Um, and the one style I'll be doing are these mini twists. Like literally, once I'm done cleansing my hair, I will go ahead and put it up, set my hair. It takes me about two or three hours. Three hours if I don't have any alcohol. <laughs> three hours if I'm sober. Um, about three hours to set my hair, and that's it for the entire two weeks. I can, you know, wear my hair in different styles. Set my hair in these twists, and you can see what one looks like right now. Look how long that is. Yes. Um, and just reset and washing my hair every two uh, weeks or so. And I'm not gonna be doing anything extra. I won't be doing any rice rinses, onion rinses. Um, the only thing different I will be doing, at least for me, because you have to keep in mind, when I wash my hair, typically I am reviewing something. I Every time I wash my hair, I'm either getting ready to review something or the next day I'm reviewing a styling product for y'all. So I now have the time to actually care for my hair. Does that make sense? So I will be going back to using heat with my deep conditioners, with everyone. Now, I wanted to purchase a steamer, a hair steamer, but I haven't been able to find any good ones online. I'm gonna kind of hold off on that. Um, I will be sticking to going in between using the Felicia Leatherwood comb, with the wooden comb and my fingers to detangle my hair. As far as detangling, it will be done the day before. Um, but the pre-poo will be very similar to the nappy head of jojobas recipe. 
using coconut milk apple cider vinegar works miracles for my textured hair it really does so i will be sticking to that pre-pouring recipe maybe switching up again depending on what i have i won't be doing hot oil treatments i will not be oh lord i don't want any stylists watching this i probably won't be trimming my hair unless i absolutely need it I'll be doing now, just to let you know, I may get questions about this. This goes in all of my deep conditioners. With every deep conditioner I make, unless it's something special I'm gonna be doing for you guys, it will have a cholesterol and it will have this. Typically I do a cholesterol, I do a little bit of this. Um, I have a recipe on this too, excuse me, a video on that too. Um, I do a heavier oil and I do honey. That is my go-to deep conditioner. And that, that is so moisturizing when you add that honey. But pre-poo will be the same. Hair scouts will be the same. It's all about making your regimen um, simple, low maintenance, moisturizing your hair, making sure your hair is moisturized, and leaving your hair alone. Don't don't touch it too much. Don't do a lot. Of, don't don't do a lot with it. And using pretty good products. I think these are pretty good products. I'm not using a lot of different products, and I'm going to be consistent. When I tell you I don't have any more room, I don't have any more room. Like, yeah, there is no more room in my back guest guest room for additional hair products. But I can make some more room if need to be. If if I see a bang in sale during the holidays, oh yes. I'm not going to sit up here and say, yes, I will be purchasing some stylers only. All right, y'all. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all of my subscribers. Take care. Bye.